Hello, thanks for joining me. This is your total body loop band workout. I have, I, I think it's like a medium heaviness loop band. It is pretty heavy. So you'll see me in a lot of the movements going just maybe a little bit slower than if I were to be using a quite light loop band. But I wanna show you that it doesn't matter if you just have one of these single guys, you can still get a great total body workout. This is a follow along workout. It's not circuits, it's not intervals. We'll do everything for about 30 seconds, but sometimes we do more, sometimes we do less. We are starting on the ground and we're starting with lower body and we'll work to standing and upper body. So you need to start with a yoga mat or something like that. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this workout, be sure to like it and subscribe so that you can get notified when other workouts happen. Let's go down to the ground. So first of all, let's start with just a brief warm up. Have your heels on your yoga mat and your hands over your head with your palms face up. Drop one knee to the ground at a time, turning your foot to the side as you go. Lengthen the back of your neck, relax your chest. Mm. Couple more rounds just like this. Good. And now plant your feet, bring your hands next to your hips. As you exhale, roll your hips up nice and smooth. Inhale, roll them down. Exhale, vertebra by vertebra, squeeze the booty, push the hips up. Inhale, release, good. Two more times, Hip, knees are directly above the heels. Good, final time. And now come on down, figure four. Bring your left ankle over your right thigh, pull your right thigh to your chest. I say it that way because normally we reserve figure four for the end of a workout, but you know what, what the heck. Let's enjoy a good figure four right now. Set your right foot down, switch. Left ankle, right ankle on top of left thigh. Pull the left leg toward the chest. Press your right elbow to your right knee. Ow, I needed this. And release. Okay, so set both feet on the ground and we're gonna start with a little bit of core activation. So bring that band over your knees. I shouldn't have worn shorts today. I'm gonna regret it. This is gonna burn my skin. I should have mentioned that. Wear pants for this workout. Oh well. Okay, so start with the feet wide enough so that there's tension on the band already. And as you exhale, press your lower back against the ground so you have a little bit of a posterior pelvic tilt. And now lift those hips straight up and lower. Go for it. So we're warming up the back body first. Booty to the ground, booty to the sky. Heels are directly below the knees. Back of neck is long, so chin is a little bit to the chest. Oh, I did a butt workout right before this. That was a mistake. Great, press your shoulder blades into the ground so that there's no pressure on your neck. Okay, lift that butt right up, pulse the band open. About 30 seconds here. Make sure that your lower back is a nice, wide, long line so that it's mostly the booty that's working. You should be able to feel your butt cheeks. That's right, touch your butt. It should feel like, oh my gosh, it's hard. It's working hard. That's the point. Below the skin, below the, uh, what I like to call Kaiserschmarrn. That's a dessert here in Austria. It's so freaking good. It's all in my butt. Okay, ready? You're gonna drop down, lift up, knees open. Drop, lift, open. Drop, lift, open. Ooh, final part of this section. Ow. Drop and lift. Drop and lift. Ow. 10 more seconds. Five seconds. And release, oh, <laughs> knees come to your chest. And we'll take that band, make sure it's just above the knees again, and then move your knees over your hips. 
Start by relaxing your knees here with your toes pointed. Hands behind your head, simple crunch up and down. As they say in Pilates, think about sliding your ribs towards your hips. Chin is just a little bit off your throat, off your chest. 10 seconds here. Oh, my core is shaking. Five. And now lower down. Push those knees open, open. So kind of like we did earlier, the knees flutter just wider. Still make sure those abs are engaged so the lower back is pressing against the ground. 15 seconds. Even though it's a pulsing motion, the breath is not a pulse. The breath is smooth and controlled. Five seconds. Hands underneath your head, crunch and pulse, go. So stay at the top with the upper body and every time you move your chest towards your thighs, you open the knees wider. 15 seconds. Ugh. 10 seconds. I'm just going to the tips of my shoulders and then lifting them, lifting them back off the ground. Oh, release, knees to chest. Yes, okay. So move that band so that it's over your ankles. Or not exactly, I shouldn't say that. The joints don't really like to be banded. So we want just above the ankles, right? You're not a prisoner, you're choosing to do this. So let's do it. So feet are flexed, lower back flat against the ground, belly strong, let's go. Pulse out, out, out. Working side muscles on the booty. As soon as I started doing this, my butt was like, ooh. <laughs> Did you feel that too? Ooh. <laughs> That's a good sign. 10 seconds. Ow. Five seconds. And one. Now point your toes, keep a little bit of tension on the band. You'll exhale up into the right, inhale lower. Exhale left, inhale lower. So twisting sit up here with your legs just above your hips. Elbows are slightly wide, so you can see them out the edges of your eyes the whole time. 15 seconds. Five seconds. And one, awesome. Bend your knees, grab the band and move it over the shoelaces. And now flex your feet, interlace your hands behind your head. It's a bicycle, we push out on the band as we move our elbow toward our knee. Dragging the foot back in. Also, the head is up the entire time. Just the tips of the shoulder blades on the ground. 15 seconds. Ugh, whose abs are on fire? Mine are. Five seconds. And release. Keeping band just over shoelaces. You can just lightly point or lightly flex. I guess just Keep your hips natural, feet natural, excuse me. Hands underneath the tailbone, exhale, lower the feet down. Push against the band to lift up. Release the tension lower, push against band and lift. Your legs may not be moving that much, that's fine. I also feel this working the insides of my knees, which is great. Those muscles in there need exercise. They help keep your knees healthy for your whole entire life. Lower back flat against the ground. Five seconds. And now as you exhale, lower just to the point when you feel like your back wants to lift, but it can stay down. And then lift your chest up, look towards your feet, pulse the feet open. 10, nine, six, five, four, three, 
two, one, release. Oh, that was awesome. That was really great. Thanks for joining me on that. Okay, so I might suggest taking the band off, rolling up, and now we're gonna reset it on our hands and knees. So it might be a little bit rough for your knees. We wanna bring it over your knee and onto your thigh again. So you do the best way for you. I like to start grounded here and then work it up. Say like your band rolls in an annoying little circle. It's so annoying, I know. It's okay as long as you still feel the band is giving you some pressure. But if that removes all the pressure from the band, then you need to push pause on the video and get that band open again. Part of band work is the control to know your range so you can keep the band from rolling. Sometimes though, if your band's very old and it just rolls up all the time, throw it away and buy a new one. Or I never say throw anything away. Find a different use of it to reduce, reuse, recycle, but get a new band for exercise. Okay, you're in tabletop position. Tuck your abs in, lower back is wide. We go into a pissing dog, as I like to call it. One knee lifts and lowers. 30 seconds here. Head is higher than the shoulders. Toe is pointed. 15 more seconds. So I would complement this exercise with an inner thigh workout. And maybe I'll put one on YouTube. Maybe I'll put one on YouTube next week. Ready, pulse it up, 15 seconds here. I wouldn't wanna tell you to do an inner thigh workout and then not explain how. That wouldn't make me a good fitness instructor. Five seconds. And now draw a circle. Ooh, I'll tell you when to switch your circle direction. This is so good for our hips. Switch directions for the love of God. Three, two, and one. Release, pull your belly button to your spine. Give me a cat pose, then a cow pose, and then a neutral back. Ready, opposite side, go. So you can't really see, but I'm doing the opposite leg here, lifting and lowering. The key here is not to let your entire body move with the leg. So you hinge the hip open. You even keep the pelvis square to the ground. 10 seconds. Five seconds. And now pulse up at the side. Ow. Ugh. My shoelace is untied. Does that mean I get a break? <laughs> no. Ready, draw a circle. I'll tell you when to switch directions. Ow. Switch directions. Three, two, one, and release. Oh. Come on to one side. Okay, you get a little break, I tie my shoe. So if you've never done Pilates before, this is a Pilates size, side series movement. The key is to keep your hips completely stacked. So we never want to open the hip to the sky or get any sort of um, compression in the side of our body. We keep it long and strong. So lay down, keep your knees in line with each other, bring your feet back, clamshell, we lift and lower the knee. Oh, five more. Lift and pulse. Ow. Now hold your knee up, hold the band tight, lift and lower just your foot. And now with the foot up, lift and lower the entire knee. 10, and the foot with it. Oh. 
Are you ready for the happy ending? You're ready, you're ready, you're ready. You can, five circles. Five, four. Switch directions. Ow. One, release. Oh. Relax that booty a little bit. Come on up. And now we need to switch to the other side. So same thing, your back, your butt, your shoulder, and your head are all on the back of the mat. The knees are forward and the feet are in line with the booty. Pull your abs in. Here we go, clamshell. Okay, now raise that leg up and we pulse it here. Ow. Don't let it go down too far. Keep the tension, hold the knee there, lift and lower the foot for 10, nine. Make sure it can actually help you to keep your hand on your knee so that it does just stay there. Oh. This isn't gonna give you a bigger butt, but it'll give you a healthier butt. And who doesn't love a good, healthy butt? And now draw circles. Five, four, three, two. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one. And now the whole thing, I forgot, it's okay, we went out of order, don't worry, don't worry. 10, just stay with me. Nine, make sure that hip isn't opening. Seven, six, getting so close. Five, four, three, two, one, release, oh, relax those glutes. Come on up to a seat and slide the band off of the legs. We will bring it back, but we're gonna take a little moment here. Actually, sorry, let's not slide it off of our legs, let's slide it down to our ankles. So now here, however feels good for your knees, stand on up. You might need to do that in a different order than I just did it, don't worry about it. Once you're there, put the band back on your ankles and we're gonna do a crab walk forward. So we bend our knees, sit back over our heels and then move those feet forward and backward. Go for it. So bending the knees just enough to feel some tension on the band, we walk toe ball heel backward and then toe ball heel forward. Knees right over ankles. Good. Oh, 10 seconds. Ow. Five seconds. Okay, and now come to the center. Same thing, side to side. So a soft bend in the knee, walk to the side, and then walk in the other direction, like two or three times each side. We are almost done. Almost done with the booty and leg section. Five seconds. Good, and now come to the center of your space. Bend your knees again, and you'll push one foot back in a sort of low lunge, center, other leg. Make sure your abs are tight so your lower back feels good, and if that hurts, just stand up straighter. Go. So this is us getting into those glutes. Pause just for a moment when the foot's back so you can feel the activation. The big toe is on the ground. Keep the feet as wide as your yoga mat. Don't let them come closer together. Five seconds. And now send one leg back, make the knees a little bit slightly more extended and then lift and lower that leg on the diagonal. 10, nine, 
Booty. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions, front knee a little bent, back leg quite straight, out on the diagonal, pull the abs in, lift and lower, 10, nine. Move smooth, gracefully, with control. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on to center, yes. Okay, one more time, band goes around the thighs, and we're gonna do basically the same series here with the forward and sideways walking. So, sit down, heels in, toes out, and walk forward. Now your legs might be wider than the yoga mat, that's fine. As long as that band isn't rolling up, you're in the right place. Heels under knees, toes turned out, but far back in space. Good, 10 seconds. Ooh, five. And now directly to the side, you know what's coming. No rest for the weary. My butt is weary. Sometimes I place my hands on my band, like I'm showing you now, just to make sure it doesn't move around too much. Fifteen seconds. Sit back, sit back. Five seconds, and then we come back to the ground. And rest, okay. So now we come down to the ground. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Abs pull up and in. With one leg only, we lift it back. This is one of those ones where you really gotta find your form. Just get the range where the band doesn't roll. Lower down and then switch to the other side. Go. So if your band is pretty tight like mine, you won't get much range here. That's okay. If you feel the glutes like, uh, then that's all the range you need. Ten seconds. Five. And now lift just one leg up and we pulse. 15 seconds here, pushing against that band. Extra credit is a flexed foot, so the toes are pulling back toward the calf. Five seconds. And release, switch legs. Pulse. Try to use your brain to activate your glutes so the glutes are what's moving that band. Five seconds. Switch legs. Try not to wiggle too far side to side. Draw circles back behind. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch directions. Five, four, three, two, one, switch legs, pull the tailbone in, posterior pelvic tilt, five, four, three, two, one, switch directions, five, four, three, two, one, and release, yes. Roll over your feet and let the band slide down your legs. Oh, okay, so a little bit more posterior chain work. This really depends on your band. So if your band is extremely tight like mine, you're not gonna go far. Again, if your back and your butt are active, 
then that's the range that you need. So we'll take one foot under the band. If your band is very light, you could do two feet. And we'll go into a deadlift. So I'm gonna have my feet in a completely together stance. Again, I could do both feet if my band was lighter. I'm gonna hold onto the band, straighten my elbows. As I exhale, I stand up. I'm gonna go slow that first time, see how far I can get with my knees softly bent. Inhale, lower, let's go. So this is definitely for time and not repetitions because if your band is very light, you should be going faster than I am right now. Yes, I just should on you. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get the joke? If you get the joke, you should comment below. I should on you. Don't should on me. I'll should on you if I want to. Okay, ready? We go all the way up, we go halfway down. Pull the abs in, lower back is long. Pulse, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 1, yes. Relax for a minute, and while you're there, if you have your band on one foot, switch it to the other foot. So now we're gonna do a bit of a shoulder raise. So again, my band's quite tight, I won't get far. My elbows bend out to the side, my shoulders are back and down, I pull up and release, go. If your band is tight like mine, it's also gonna be more of a bicep workout, that's okay. Again, try to activate your shoulders. Think about using your shoulders first. Keep going. 10 seconds, oh, five seconds, and release, yes. Okay, band off the feet, shake out the hips, shake out the shoulders. Now we're gonna get into pure arm work. It's not gonna be fun, but it's worth it. So, thumbs up position, band right in front of your chest, Pull the shoulder blades together, feel the upper back strength, release, go. Again, if your band is lighter, you can go faster. Five seconds. And now hold it and pulse, never let it release. Mmm, toning those upper back muscles, 10 seconds. Pull your front ribs back a little bit so your spine is long. And release, oh. Shake out your upper back. Okay, now bring the band somewhere just above your elbows or below your wrists. I don't want your hands out like this or in like this. I don't want your elbows out or in. So wherever that band needs to land to keep a number 11. Ready, go. 15 seconds. Remember, elbows and hands completely in line. 10 seconds. Ugh. And pulse, 10, nine. Four, three, two, one, release. Ah, that one really gets me, really gets me. Okay, palms face the front and it's just, just below your wrists. Arms raise up. Try to work on straightening your elbows at the top. A shrug is okay here. Ready, pull back. Now, if you can't get your band behind your head without getting in this kind of a form, then just bring your band to the point when you feel like your chin wants to go forward and don't let it. Ready, 15 seconds. Five seconds. And now pull down and pulse. 10, nine. Ow, four, three, two, one. Keep the band where it is. Bring your hands forward. Roll your shoulders up, back and down, and then hold them there. Keeping the palms face the ground, push out. 15 seconds. Total body and total arm workout here. All the parts of the arms. 
especially stabilizer muscles. Pulse, 10, nine, four, three, two, one, release. <laughs> Again, that 10 count pulse, you can go faster if your band is lighter. Okay, still same place around those wrists. Elbows right next to the body. We pull open and close, keeping elbows next to the body. Go. 10 seconds. Ow. Pulse, 10. Four. <laughs> Traps. Okay, now we're gonna take one hand, hold the band, let's see, I don't know if I can even do it with this band, yeah, okay. So take one hand and you hold the band low, maybe even next to your hip. The other hand is gonna pull up in a bicep curl. The hand will go to the center of your chest if your band is quite tight, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Ready, 15 like a diagonal bicep curl if your band is as tight as mine. Five seconds. And now pulse it at the top, a little out, a little in. 10. Four, three, two, one, and release. Switch to the other side. Let me check on this music. Okay, opposite hands long. Here we go, pull across. Four, three, two, up and pulse, 10, nine. Four, Three, two, one, release. Ugh. Roll the shoulders around. Okay, one of my favorites, bow and arrow. We're almost done. So one hand is forward and then the other arm pulls back in a sort of twist. The hips can move as well. So it is a full body motion and then you switch to the other side. Try not to get a crease in the wrist though. So we never want our wrist to look like this or like this. We want a straight elbow and a flat wrist. Ready, 30 seconds, side to side, go. Hips moving a bit, but not so much. Elbow drives back. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Just one side, pulse release, 10. Four, three, two, one, switch sides, pulse, 10. Four, three, two, one, release, ah! One more, one more. It's my favorite. So I'll turn around. Band goes behind the waist and it's held there. The opposite palm is face up. Like you have some marbles in your hand. From here, you exhale, push out. Inhale, drive the elbow back and in. Push out, pull in, go. All the way out, a little bit in, go. 10. Four, three, two, one, release. Other side, other side. Palm faces up. Hand goes out, ready, let's go. 10. Six. 
five, four, three, two, and now we open out halfway. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release. You did it. Ha! Total body band workout done. Let's stretch. Pull one arm across, roll the shoulder back, lift and lower that arm. Nice job. Feels good. Feels good. Circle the hand around, kind of like we just did, and then move your head away from the hand behind your back. Arm comes across, and now we lift and lower. And now hand comes behind, head goes to the shoulder. Good, come through center. And now you'll come into a wide squat position, turning down the music for a cool down. And turn your palms face in, drop one shoulder to the center, other shoulder to the center, roll one shoulder. And the other. Last two. The last one. And now turn your feet straight to the front. Bring your head down nice and low. Wrap your hands around your elbows. Rock from side to side. Good. And now separate those feet wider. Bend one knee. And then the other knee. Oh. And now go all the way to one side, lower one knee down to the ground, and then twist towards the front leg, getting a hip stretch, even relaxing your head. And both hands down to the ground. Give me a downward facing dog for spine, for calves, for shoulders. Allow chest to move towards the thighs. And then move your opposite foot forward, lower your knee down, lift your arm up, big stretch. Mm, I love these twisting lunges hip flexors, chest, thigh, we got everything. And then lower the hand down. Lift your back knee, step forward, find a forward fold position, relax your neck, relax your head. And now slowly roll up. Shoulders up, back and down. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Give yourself a bow. Thank you so much for joining. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and if you like my classes, I post way more classes on my private Facebook group. It's Emily Stewart Fitness Extra. Go find it. It's also linked below.